Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Hey guys, it's the Monday Mayhem wrap up where we are watching Monday Night Raw in all its fantasticness. Oh boy. I'm Mad Mike. No, I'm pretending to be Mad Mike. I'm actually Sorgatron. We're at Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. And with me on the line in Beacon, New York is Mad Mike pretending to be me. Ah. Uh. Um, I have a question. Yeah, I have a this, this. It's just a it's just a quick question. With this wild card thing, yeah, can we just ship everyone that was on Raw <laughs> to to Impact? Yes, okay. and then take everyone that's on NXT, NXT UK. Oh. 205 live and smackdown mm-hmm. and put them on raw so all oh, the, so the, all right we gotta get we gotta start with some positive holy crap holy crap is I did not, positive? no no no, no. So, we lost i Rambling started rabbit i start oh yes i started negative and the, the like the chat room just exploded negative so i gotta bring it back around mike do you have a good for so, this let's week? talk about endgame Let's talk about Endgame. No, 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 no. we can't do that game. again. Although, game. we can spoil it all game. we want this week. Endgame! Um, anyways, good old wrestling this week. Mike, what do you got? Well, I got some stuff. <laughs> Blah! Uh, I had a good indie wrestling uh, weekend, uh, Rise Wrestling with a Y, as well as uh, Black Diamond Wrestling. Um, our friends with uh, uh, OSHA Inc., who uh, Johnny Starks will be joining us, of course, this week on uh, the main show because I can't count numbers. Um, numbers are hard. Swim, numbers are hard, especially when you have to use like your fingers and toes over again. Yeah, yeah. For six. That's digits, that's when it starts to get real tricky. It's a lot of fingers and toes when there's six digits. But anyways, um, or three digits. But um, uh, anyways. <laughs> Hey, you can't even get that part right. Yeah, yeah, that's where we're at. No, it was a really good weekend uh, uh, for indie wrestling. Um, a lot of fun stuff with Rise. Uh, PB Smooth had a title match out there. Uh, Iceman Tony Johnson and Lee Moriarty had a great match. Um, these guys called System Elite, uh, and one guy that I think followed you on Facebook recently um, uh, came back. Oh, no, no, he titles. has not. And no, what, he has not because I don't know that person. Sort you don't know that person? Could be a stalker. I, do I don't know. I, I don't wait, know who wait, that person wait, is. What? Facebook Facebook said it was someone I might know. What? I don't know them. Oh, and Dutters did a thing. Dutters did a thing. What did, what did Dutters do? Dutters stepped over the top rope. Oh man. You, oh, oh. You didn't see this on the Instagram? I did not. Um oh, All right, hold on, hold on. Group. Hold on, hold on. Now, now we need Now we need a a um a a wrestling tall person name for her. Oh, we're this, working this on gonna this. Take up, this we're, is going to take up the whole we're show. Actually, I don't know. We're kind of figuring out when her wrestling debut the, is going to be. Great, the Great Dudley? No. The great no, Dudley? That no. Uh, that, doesn't, that doesn't work. Um, um, I think that one's taken. Somebody told um, her to get in the chat. Uh, but, was, yeah, she was... Uh, it was our, it's our, the our, Dud our, Show? No. No, that doesn't it's, work either. It's the Dud Show. Our, Maybe. Our seven-foot friend, PB Smooth, um, was training her in stepping over the top rope mm-hmm. so um uh, i'm trying to th- i'm trying to think of other like that's gotta be dutters no no no, 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 no that doesn't work, work either no no, no 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 also, uh, a lot the dutter taker yes no i think that's actually larry's nickname oh the larry's the dutter taker because he took uh, dutters get it uh, See? um hmm Trying to think of other people. Let's see. From the chat, from the chat room. room, I'm glad the chat, chat room is so much more positive now. Uh, uh, Potter says Big Dutters. Uh, Stark says, "What's Ronald F. Starks? What's the F stand for? You're gonna have to tell me that tomorrow." Um, uh, flood. Flood. Oh no, wait. That's flood the other Starks. guy. No. Uh, the amazing yeah. Dutters, giant Dutters sales, Dutters sales. Do I have to say that a certain way? She's the Dutter. Yes. 
But you have to say bitch. I'm the Dutter not bitch. Okay, we got to get her on the show tomorrow night now. Uh, anyways, uh, so that happened, and uh, and and a lot of fun. Yeah, people can have more than one nickname. Um, sure. so, Matt, Matt reminded me in the chat room that Larry is a earthquake. We we we, we had. Oh that. wait, hold on, what? hold on. No, there's no way of using typhoon and dudders. Dudfoon. No. Typhers. 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 Okay. Girthquake and, girthquake and typhers. Earthquake and cut typhers. That's um, the forge to disasters. What kind of mo- What kind of movie is that? Anyways. <laughs> Uh, so that was some good, that was some good from this weekend. I, and also, um, you haven't lived until you've, you know how we've like kind of like help people with their gimmick ideas when they come on the show sometimes here on uh-huh. wrestling mayhem show. Um, imagine that like just with a bunch of wrestlers helping one person and <laughs> God, there's some magic that happened. I just, I, I will, I will let all of you know it when this thing debuts and I'm hoping it does. Dudboat. 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 Dud boat. The dud boat. Yes. Okay. All right. That's that's good. We have to see if she can go. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure she can. Oh, jeez. Anyways, um, uh, oh, jeez. Did you have a good from this week? Uh, anything you watched on uh, uh, somewhere along the line? Oh heavens no. Heavens no. You're like wrestling is not treating me well. Um. Ugh. I call that, and I hope to raise it with you after the show. Oh, boy. Um, oh, um, maybe I, a gif? Maybe something with Chris Jericho? No, fuck Chris Jericho. Because Tina's out there saying she extended her New Japan uh, subscription one more month because of uh, just because of Chris Jericho. Eh, I... I don't get into New Japan. I've I tried. Know. I know. Times. I'm just saying there's stuff happening, man. There's some the, stuff yeah. happening. Brandon's out there in the KC. He's saying that his was seeing a video on Twitter where wrestlers used a whole bleacher set to the ring or in the ring to perform their moves while the ref was helping. I uh, need the. I'm you, to... you know what my good in wrestling is, Sorg? Yes. Uh, NXT TakeOver is coming to Connecticut, and I'm what? probably going to go to it. That. Nice. That, that's my good. Is it just NXT gonna... Takeover is coming to Connecticut June first. Whoa, June first. Yeah, real close. Wait, wait, that's a takeover. It's a takeover. Is it attached to a show? Because Money in the Bank's like two weeks before. Um, no, no, they're just doing it. Yeah. Wow, that's the first time in a while they've they've done it without a pay per view attached to it. But anyways, I think it's the first time they've done it without a pay per view attached in the United States. The only I, one I and, can think of that they haven't was England. Oh well, uh, no, no, and there's been ones they've done on full sale too. I don't count those. Yeah. I, I I guess they I were like they were like arrivals and stuff. I guess yeah, it was because a bit... they were on the normal NXT taping. Right, screen, so right. I don't count those. So I'm um, saying once they started taking their show on the road, so to speak. Uh, Potter reminds us our friends Lady Frost and Savage Gentlemen were picked uh picked up by the Ring of Honor Dojo. Oh, excellent. Yeah, moving up, moving up. Let's see if there's anything else. Here. So from there, I'm gonna go back. I want to go back in time here, uh, looking for the. Uh, go back in time. Da, 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 da. Um, but uh, yeah, no people were not. Uh, so here's some uh, comments from Raw in general. Uh, who needs therapy? That was horrible. Bad, 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 bad. Yeah, that was boring. I'm about to break up with WWE. Remember, <laughs> WWE was trying tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not. I'd argue that. Me. Uh, I swear. If I'd I... argue that just because they brought in more people doesn't necessarily mean there was more writing. There's more backstage fighting. I like that. I like backstage fighting. I mean, if... I, no, I don't like backstage fighting without a purpose. Because mm... what wild antics of Braun Strowman wanting to shut up? Sammy oh Zane? no, no, I'm done with Braun Strowman. Oh man, I'm, I'm, done. I'm done because they're never going to actually push him i can't i won't even they're suggest never gonna that. actually push him matt says i won't even suggest a solution because wwe will never fix this uh but also also in positive riz finished the half marathon congratulations riz riz plays games um Excellent. congratulations yeah oh we're stepping i was not watching you guys over here they just gave up and they're starting you to know watch. the best thing that was on raw tonight sword uh, they're, 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 everybody gave up and they're talking cmml and uh new japan i believe in the chat um biggie tweeting about raw was the best thing about raw oh yeah how was that um he was he was like everyone loves rematches right guys 
That's yeah. Hey, here's the matches you saw at WrestleMania, but with less. Um. Yeah. 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 It, it, so, the answer to this is to complicatedly start this wild card system between the two shows so everybody can go can go get a day pass on raw or smackdown apparently like just dissolve the brand split yeah it was, which means the guys are coming over all the guys are hopping over that just left two weeks ago it, it none and of this homesick none already of this they're back from summer camp mike none of this matters no no it's it's WWE realized hey we moved all the important guys to smackdown we yeah. moved all the people. Who, we moved all the people who had interesting characters to SmackDown. Yeah. Like, I, I don't even know. Normally, I can like come up with a couple, a couple of witty things that they could have done differently to make the show a little bit better. I don't even know. A month ago, I was hype for Kofi versus Bryant. Mm-hmm. A month ago, less than a month ago. No, yeah, yeah less than a month ago. I was hyped for Kofi was Prime. Then I, I didn't give a shit. Uh, Firefly Funhouse ter- made a turn tonight, uh, Tina's pointing out. Mm. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Like It's hard to get to it, right? It's hard to get through no, the rest of the no, stuff for your no, Firefly I, Funhouse. I liked it. I liked it. But again, until I see how this translates onto the actual product, mm-hmm. then I, I'm being very cautiously optimistic about it. Um, uh, Matt, Matt Carlin is saying, I will, he says, he will say, Becky Lynch segment, Roman Drew, and Kofi Bryan were all fine. You can shoot the rest of this junk into the sun. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, but, but Roman and Drew, for what? For what reason? Unless you're giving Ooh. Drew his win back? Yeah. Unless you're giving Drew his win back, which would have been good because honestly, Drew McIntyre needs a fucking win. Like, if you're really going to push him, Drew McIntyre needs a fucking win. He needs something, right? Because you're just the big guy that loses needs- a lot. And then now you turn into the God, big, he- you're turning Drew into the big show problem. Oh, Sorg, they, all three major heels on Raw have the big show problem. Yeah. All three of them. Look, three man look plan. at these tall guys. Yay. Look at these tall guys with no personality. Um, definitely not carrying it very well. Uh, but uh, this I, just, is raw. I just thank God we didn't get Lashley pretending to be the Rock again this week. Mad Mike. Yeah. If you didn't feel some weird moral wrestling fan obligation to sit here and watch and sit for three hours or some semblance of three hours on, on of Monday nights, what would you do with yourself on Monday night? God, anything. <laughs> God, fucking anything. Oh, like, boy. seriously, th- this Rob was was less than watchable. Yeah. Like, you, you, first of you open with Vince McMahon. Mm-hmm. Like, unless this is leading to the character of Mr. McMahon becoming senile and having to be committed to a home. Let's hope. Which it's not, because I just did writing. And they don't do that. Mm-hmm. It's fucking pointless. Mm-hmm. Sami Zayn. As entertaining as he can be, yeah. is fucking pointless. Uh, I'm with Tina on this comment. I'm really kind of over this already. I just, I just can't with Usos and Revival. Nope. It's, I just wait, want wait, to see him wrestle. On. Wait, 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 hold on, let me get through the comment. It, it's more of uh, since they were public with wanting to leave, they're trying to humiliate them so, so much that they're uh, damaged goods. WWE seems petty like that. Look what happened to Luke Harper so far. Um, what did they do? You know, Rowan was not with Daniel Bryan. Tonight. I noticed that as well. Uh, so I feel bad for anyone who went to that SmackDown house show, which I'm sure there probably was one tonight. <laughs> oh, man. I feel bad for it. Oh, I forgot those are still a thing that happened. I don't see. Know. It, 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 this is what happens when you run your talent into the ground. Well, uh, I tell you what. Tomorrow we're going to have uh, Ronnie Starks on. And okay. I believe, as he's stating in the chat room, I believe he's going to issue, issue some uh, violations to WWE. I mean, I don't know if there are any necessarily safety violations. Um, Except for Lashley's spear to the outside. That did not look very safe. No, no, no. That didn't seem fun either. Uh, but uh, it, it, either way, he's going to have some thoughts. I think he's going to have a list of some sort. I, I heard he may have, um, I don't know, I, I heard he's bringing something with him. I don't know what that 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 may be, uh, but he's gonna be with us. Uh, he's gonna be the the um, the fitter 
Ronnie Starks. There's less Ronnie Starks to go around, my Mike. That's what she said. Ah. But. Uh, um. So, so oh oh. <laughs> So Matt Carlin's, I don't know if he's saying this as a fact or, or a comment, but there was no uh, SmackDown House show. It was canceled. Oh, okay. it, oh, it was canceled for this show. It was I'll at least say, a group of fans weren't screwed over. Yeah, that's, that's right. Uh, so they had canceled that that show for tonight. So that that's why we have the so no um Sorg, I'm legitimately asking this because I don't remember. Was there a women's match tonight? No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, L- Lacey, Lacey had that jobber. Where Michael Cole didn't even know her finish. Mm-hmm. Because her finish is uh, a punch. And if you don't set up a punch like the big show, mm-hmm. it just looks like a fucking punch. Uh, Tina's pointing out, uh, I, I didn't realize this. Luke went public with his release. And not only did they deny it, uh, but they added six months for the injury he had, had to his contract. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wow. Wow. Yep. Free Brody Lee. Free Brody Lee. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, yeah. he's, he's very expensive. He's not free. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. I don't want to just complain for another 15 minutes. Let's talk about Endgame, Sork. Endgame. No. I, it's, it's... no, we can officially talk spoilers now. The, the spoiler ban has been lifted. Are we just going? Are, you, are we just straight doing this? Uh, Missy says no. Producer it's, Missy it's, says no. Okay, if Missy says no, then we won't. This is the Wrestling Mayhem show. The hey, mayhem. there was a wrestler in that movie. That means wrestling and mayhem. And the mayhem is... There was everything. a wrestler in that movie. The mayhem is everything else. Um, But... I, like... I, I seriously don't I'm know. I'm trying to think of one positive segment that I liked on the show. Hmm. I'm trying to think of one. Like... I, I thought the backstage thing with Lacey Evans giving invitations to the other girls was actually kind of funny. Okay. It's the only thing Lacey Evans related I've enjoyed. Once she got to the ring, it was completely worthless. But, like, there was just so much that was pointless. Oh. Like, Lucha House Party having a pointless jobber six-man tag. Also... Also, Lucha Underground just going back to business after we saw Sami Zayn maybe um, killed Super Shredder style with a garbage truck. Yeah, right into the back of a garbage truck. Ah! Now the Lucha uh, House Party, didn't they get a couple of jobbers too? Yeah. They're getting very yeah. enhancement talent lately uh, all over the place. Which uh, is weird I, because if you have your entire roster yeah. available to you, those are the nights when you don't need it. We're done with the uh, Ryder and Hawkins ride, apparently. Oh, God, yeah. Yep. Yep, we're about to get tag team championship experience. Yeah, we are. Which means my challenge to uh, Eric is back on. Oh, yeah? Probably. Why not? Well, send him, a, send him an email. No, because, see, see Sorg, if you're, a cha- if you're a champion in NXT, you very rarely lose. If you're a champion on Raw, you lose all fucking time. <laughs> so... I got a shot. Yeah, yeah, sure. I got a shot. Um, okay, the, the, let me share another joy I had in wrestling this week. Um, okay. Just the fact of just looking at my Twitter, and because I followed these guys and I've talked with them for years, uh, uh, Shane Taylor and uh, uh, Eric Ray Rowe, mm-hmm. uh, just, just two guys signed to some different companies talking about basketball back and forth on Twitter. That's nice. That's just that's just like everything is right in the world when I go see that and know what those guys are doing and just seeing they're they're just super chill. Uh, so I I just that was just the moment for me uh, this past week to see that. So anyways, Mike, Sorg, are are you looking forward to the the hot 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 tag team match tomorrow night? Of? Are you looking forward to it? What's the hot tag team match for tomorrow night? Roman and the Miz versus Drew McIntyre and Elias. Calling it now. Calling my shot. Kobe. That sounds like a terrible match. <laughs> All right. Well, that's okay. Because we don't have Shane McMahon wrestle on TV because Shane McMahon can't wrestle. Wait, and there's not enough stuff to jump off of. Um, so that Raiders match was trash. Why go back and forth just to end it with them winning? Yeah. 
where, where were the iconics tonight? Where were where were any oh. tonight? Like, like if you're gonna have only one segment with women, if you're gonna have only one segment, why not try? Mm-hmm. Like, have I don't care, and I know I hate this normally, but it would have been a longer segment. Have a four on four match with the women who are in the money in the bank on the SmackDown side mm-hmm. against the women who are in the money in the bank on the Raw side. Because we have like no. two, because we have like two more weeks to fill. Oh God. Because you know it's coming. Yeah. And we'll get a boat on, on the men's side. Now, now we have this wild card pool. Man, I'm like so not even bothered that I have to like I'm so bo- I'm so not bothered that I'm not gonna be able to watch Money in the Bank live at this point. This is uh, money in the bank is going to do terrible. Mm. And by the way, speaking of terrible, did you hear the crowd last night uh, tonight? Because I sure didn't. No, no, not not the crowd really. was dead. Not having it. Cincinnati was like the not crowd, having the it. The crowd was like those kids on the Firefly Funhouse. <laughs> That's what they were like. Like yeah. it was bad. Yeah, it was real, real bad. NBA playoffs, huh? Yeah, I guess so. All right. Mad Mike, we got Ronnie Starks tomorrow on the show. And the week after, I'm pretty sure, if I math right, is episode 666 with Jason Gorey. So you just terrified me with that one sentence. Mm -hmm. He's going to be here. He's going to spit in your face, Mike. That'd be very... I would be impressed by his loogie capabilities if he was able to do that. I got spit on from like 10 feet away. Yesterday at Black Diamond. I'm quite a bit further than yes. Ten. Well, I mean, quite a, a bit. Further. It's a start. It's a start. Who spit on me? That would be no. Ronnie Starks didn't spit on me this time. Uh, I believe AJ Matthews did a spit take from from the ramp, and it just projected. Oh and I'm boy! Just like, ah oh, man, that went uh, wide. Uh, Ronnie Ronnie Starks may have canceled his WWE network a few oh days ago. Oh no! Well, but how are you going to learn about the lives of WWE wives and not the interesting ones? Oh no! Yeah, why why is it Nene in that one? Uh, hey, you know what? You mean Nene? Hold may, on, hold on, mean, hold on. Huh. I will give proper credit. Poughkeepsie's represented. Poughkeepsie's represented. Really. Randy Orton's wife is from Poughkeepsie. No shit. Yep. <laughs> he, he, he met her at a house show. He met her at a house show at the Mid Hudson Civic Center. That's truth. Is it on point to talk about the time that I, I picked up a, a couple on Lyft on, on the uh, on Mount Washington, and the one the one woman insisted that she was like uh, Kurt Angle's wife's best friend. That sounds right. Yeah. See, if we were gonna have, I'd rather have wrestler ex wives in a table for three. Speaking of, I which, think that'd be a much more interesting conversation. Speaking of dudders and wrestling, she ran into uh, her buddy Kurt at the uh, uh, at, at her brunch place once again. This, oh, this is becoming a regular occurrence. Well, I mean, you know, he's all about the three Ds and by the way, drive-ins and dives. That's right. Uh, I guess it's more of a diner. I don't know. I've never ate there. Um, but anyways, uh, by the way, Kurt Angle, if you're listening, I have a domain for you. Uh, just putting that out there. I was trying to think of three eyes, but I couldn't think of three breakfast foods that started to fly. It, it, it's kind of hard. I think if you had like okay. the three Bs, it's a lot easier. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> anyways, what is Matt Carlos is just saying? Uh, uh, they met at a house show is a best fanfic ever. Um, Eamon and I will be reading that on episode 666. I don't know. That's a joke. I didn't think I told him a story about that love at an indie show over the uh, last week. But anyways. Love at an indie show. Oh, boy. Love at an indie show. I got some stories for you off air. But anyways, uh, (laughs) Mad Mike483 on the tweets. YouTube.com slash poppy. Son of a bitch. Oh, no. (laughs) Ronnie Starks has a Kurt Kurt Angle story for us tomorrow. Thank you, everybody, for joining us all across the country here on the Facebook. And I believe if I did this right, we are also streaming on the Mayhem Show Periscope. Let me see if that's happening. Oh, 
And I believe also on the YouTube. We'll check all that later and make sure that all works. But uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us. But again, if you did join us in the other place and you're wondering, why the hell ain't you saying anything to me? Uh, that's because we are over on the um, Facebook. Bossy Bouquet. You're on Bossy the what? Bossy Bouquet. Bossy Bouquet? Yeah, that's what it's going to be. Oh, called the Facebook. After- yeah, is that Facebook. what is that what's going to be called when they go down for all this piracy concerns? No, when Elon Musk buys it and rebrands it, it's going to be spelled the same way, but but pronounced entirely differently. We're all living in the Matrix, Mike. Did you mm-hmm. know that? Yeah. We 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 need bookers. <laughs> fake Lots news. Bookers. Fake news. How about fake life? At Sorgatron on the Twitter. See us at nine p.m. tomorrow night uh, here on your Facebook page for the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Go check out the Indie Mayhem Show uh, if you're curious. Uh, Dudders or or Dud House or, or Dud, Dud Boat. Dud Dud Boat. Boat. Uh, talk social media for pro wrestling over there. And I have gotten so much feedback over the weekend on this. And it was pretty great. So go check that out. Indie Mayhem Show on your tweet places. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Uh, keep it Monday. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.